Hi, Daniel Lokovic with Flatwag. We're in front of Rheingeist Brewing today and we're gonna meet with uh, Cole Hackbarth, who's the operations manager. He's gonna tell us more about his process and we're gonna talk about their great products and how the Flatwag Centrifuge has a part in that. So let's get inside and learn more. Thanks for having us. So, um, appreciate you taking the time out for us to tell us a little bit about your process and about your beer. So, really appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, so, tell me a little bit about the brewery's history. Where did you guys come from? And tell me a little about where your plans are for the future. So, Rheingeist was founded in 2013. Um, we're just coming up on our four year anniversary. Okay. Um, we've been growing very fast since day one. Um, we put the brewery into an old brewery building um, back in 1895. This brewery was part of the bottling plant for Christian Moreland Brewery. Okay. Um, that prohibition shut down the brewery, kind of became just an empty warehouse for a long time. Um, so we brought it back to its brewing roots um, and started making beer again. That's great. Yeah, lovely. So where do you see yourself going in the, in the future? Do you uh, are you expanding more? I, I, we saw some construction here already, so... Always expanding, um, always growing, just trying to keep up with demand. The yeah. uh, first year we did 11,000 barrels. We'll do probably about 80,000 barrels this year. Well, that's great. So it's been pretty fantastic growth, and yeah. Cincinnati's a great market. So. Yeah, absolutely. So you got to attribute some of this to your products here too, right? Of course, so, it's all about the beer inside. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your products, and uh, you picked out a couple of for us here today, so tell us a little bit about those too. So we do a wide range of styles um, of both beer and cider. Uh, last year we did about 97 different um, unique brands. Um, what you have is the Puma Pilsner. That's our German style Pilsner. So this one is topped with Saphir. It's going to have a really nice lemongrass spicy note to it. Mm -hmm. And the dry hop cider is topped with uh, Centennial. Mm -hmm. It's got a really nice citrusy uh, grapefruit profile. Sounds good. Sounds like some uh, nice summer drinking uh, beverages. Perfect for when it's hot out. Yeah, those fantastic. Hot, muggy Cincinnati summers. So tell us a little bit about the process. How are the how are the beers made? Take us from beginning to out the door. Um, so we have a weekly production meeting uh, where we sit down. We kind of discuss, you know, what's selling, um, what what's the demand out there, what is our competition doing, um, and from there we kind of formulate different styles of beer. Obviously, we do a lot of everything. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of it's kind of seasonal when it's hot. You know, what are some of the lighter, you know, more drinkable styles we can do? Right. Um, and then from there, we run a test batch on our pilot system, okay. um, which is 20 barrels. Uh, after that, we scale it up to the production side, which mm -hmm. is a 60 barrel. Um, we do 240 barrel batches. Um, and from there, after fermentation, it goes through um, your centrifuge, the flower. Okay. Um, that pulls out all of the hot material, mm -hmm. all of the yeast, and gives you a nice bright beer mm -hmm. um, for ready for package. Before, usually craft brewers, before they get to a centrifuge level, they're using a filter. Can you tell us a little bit about the difference and what made the jump to a centrifuge? Yeah, most of it uh, was speed and efficiency. Okay. Um, centrifuges can run a lot more beer a lot faster than traditional filter aids, um, be it a plate and frame or a DE. Um, so it's just been a lot smoother, a lot easier. Yeah. We don't take our beer to very, very bright. Um, okay. And the centrifuge is great at just getting all the big stuff out. Leaves you with a nice beer, as you can see there. That's no polish filter on the yeah. on the Pilsner. So it allows you to dial it in a little bit closer than you might be able to in a filter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So a filter, you've got a, a set, you know, media depth um, that 
it hits a certain particulate level with a centrifuge, you can kind of run it faster or slower and get more or less turbidity depending on what you want. So you've been using the Flatweg uh, skid system for about a year, right? So how's it running for you? It's running great. Um, we really enjoy um, some of the features like the soft shot technology, mm -hmm. um, the quietest discharges I've ever heard. Um, it's actually quieter when it discharges. It's right. fantastic. Right. Um, the different built-in recipes are really nice. Um, okay. So when you're running beer or cider, um, you can kind of set parameters and it'll it'll run differently. Um, okay. So it's, it's been really great. And of course, having you guys in our backyard, it's been great for service and parts. Um, right. Anytime there's any issue, we can just call you guys up and you're, yeah. you're on the spot. So yeah, the level of service and support um, has been fantastic. And that's definitely been a huge, a huge factor in our yeah, success. Excellent. Well, we hope that it continues to keep producing excellent beer for you. So. Absolutely. Let's try some now. Appreciate it. Cheers. So I want to thank you guys for watching today. Uh, you got to hear Cole talk about the process, about the various products. Um, he talked about the Flatweg machine, how it's impacted their service, their production. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, check out our YouTube channel for some more options and see you next time. Thanks for watching. That's cheesy. It's got to be earlier. Yeah, because I'm sitting here like.